Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 22nd of 2021. Well, it is titled the Milky Ring. So what do we see here? Well, here we see our Milky Way galaxy. And it will appear as a ring if we look at the entire galaxy, since we are in the galaxy. So we can look in any direction out towards the plane of the galaxy and we would see a portion of the galaxy there. Now some portions of it we see a little uh, more and a little bit stronger if we notice that parts towards the upper portion seem a little denser and the parts down towards the bottom look a little less dense. And that is because towards the top we are looking towards the center of the galaxy and when we look in the direction of the center of the galaxy there are far more stars and clusters and nebulae there so it makes it a lot brighter. In fact, it would be even brighter if it were not for all of the dust. The dust blocks out a lot of the light from the center of the galaxy and in fact making the galactic center invisible with an ordinary uh, visible light telescope. You cannot see the center of the galaxy with one of those, but you can see it with radio waves and in radio waves it is the brightest radio source in the sky. So it all depends on what you're looking for there and what radiation, what type of light you are looking with. Now down towards the bottom, we're looking out towards the edge of the galaxy. So away from the galactic center, and you can see that there are far fewer stars there. And in fact, it's almost easier to pick out individual stars as you look in that direction. Whereas when you look towards the center of the galaxy, there are simply so many stars that everything is blurred out. A few other things we can note are Jupiter up towards the top just above the ring of the galaxy and down below we can see Orion You can see some of the arcs and the red glow of Orion near the very bottom of the image there. And we can also see two other galaxies, the Magellanic clouds within the ring of the Milky Way. And those are visible towards the right hand side, the large Magellanic cloud. And just above and to the left of it would be the small Magellanic cloud, which are two satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. Now, how do you get an image like this? Since we can't see all of the galaxy at one time, part of it would be above or below the horizon. Well, this took several years to complete and in fact looked at pictures to sites taken in uh, China and then using observations from the southern hemisphere in New Zealand in order to collect all of this data and to put it all together, being able to see the entire galaxy in one view here. So it took several years to produce this image and to see all of our galaxy in kind of a ring form. So that was our picture of the day for January the 22nd of 2021. It was titled the Milky Ring. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.